Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Chris Tales. The last time we left off, we got some revelations about uh, Audrey and just, just a lot of the stuff going on. And I think we're supposed to go to the cathedral now, but I'm actually going to run back over here so I can go hit up the um, inn. Because, uh, boy, I could use it. So we'll go check that out. Um, we also never found that Peter character that we were supposed to find in the, uh... Mm. Ask Paulina about the artifact. Um... Flowers on a grave, collect five flowers. Find a power cell. Oh wait, no. No. I guess the Peter's Goggles thing was uh, a main quest thing, possibly? Oh well. Well, there's f we gotta collect five flowers from Floodside. So, kinda curious who else we could possibly talk to over here in Floodside to get some stuff, but I thought now would be a good time to go ahead and take care of a lot of this uh, Garbaggio uh, side quest stuff that we kind of have built up here. Um, well, oh, wait, is that what it wants me to do? Because I've been noticing these flowers hanging out. I thought we had to talk to just people. I should first get, wait, what? Oh, it said I should first get closer to Crisbell. I was like, wait, what's happening? Wow, we have to actually wait for you to catch up before we can time hop? Why do you not just teleport to me, dude? How did I even get so far ahead of you? But yeah, I think we jump here and you can grab, yeah, you can just grab the flower. Okay. Yeah, we got some by talking to people. So I was like, I was kind of under the assumption that we had to do that for all of them, but no. Okay. And what were the other two things? That's a, uh, yeah, talk to that character. Memorial. Our cells are traditionally based on red crystal, but Audrey's mixed in. Where could you get a power cell? I don't know. I really don't. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea where I could obtain a power cell. But, uh, oh, there's another flower. Uh, go get it. Matthias. God, you're so slow. I should have gotten way closer to this thing before I picked it. There we go. Um, yeah, take me back. All right, power cell, power cell, power cell. I'm imagining it's somewhere in the future, right? I would think maybe this thing would have it. It's the only like abandoned dead robot that I've seen. Hmm. All right, let's just keep going this way. Because the last flower was over here, a red rose. So let's get right on here. How to? What? Oh, come on, man! I don't know why you don't just like teleport to keep up with me, or like sit on my shoulder or something. Why do? Why do we make you walk everywhere? That's just rude. It's the first time I ever really run into him not being able to keep up with me, though. Definitely not a common thing. But yeah, we can complete that side quest now. Maybe I should go do it now because I do have all of the flowers, right? Uh, give the flowers to, yeah. Okay, let's let's go turn that in actually. Um, I'm not sure what we'll get from it, but we might get a really good thing and I imagine a boss fight or something is coming up, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out, of, out there and do that. I gotta say the art style and like the characters and stuff. Shall we make a record of our- No. Nothing. Um, the art style and the characters and stuff kind of remind me of uh, Indivisible, which I've also played on the channel. All right, so we gotta go back over here. And luckily, if I remember correctly, you were like right at the beginning, right? Cause you were being hounded <laughs> by some wolves. Um, so I think you're like right up here, aren't you? Yeah, and this guy was just standing there not doing shit about it. Oh my, you really went out of your way to get all these flowers? Imagine that. Well, let me see about doing my part. Don't you think that the symbolism of flowers for the dead is a little... inappropriate? What do you mean? Why pick something that withers so quickly? Isn't that a little, I don't know, extra morbid? Flowers are an expression of beauty too, aren't they? 
Life is beautiful because it's fragile. Uh, don't bother with him. He either gets it or he doesn't. All right, then. Let's see if this will do. Have a look now. Flower bouquet was added. Ooh, that is very pretty. Wow, it's beautiful. You are very skilled, mister. Yeah, you should be a flower arranger instead of a miner. Thanks, lady. Please make sure this reaches the memorial. Now, where is the memorial exactly? Um, travel to the memorial in Evergreen Forest. Where was Evergreen Forest? This is an Evergreen Forest. This is like the mountain, right? Is Evergreen Forest where we came from? I think I vaguely remember there being like a... Um... A thing there that was like, this looks like a memorial or something, but maybe I'm crazy? Is this Evergreen Forest? Uh... Does it... Yeah, area evergreen forest. Okay, so this is the place. We just gotta find where exactly we gotta drop this stuff off. I think it's up there? I think that's it. Up there. This, like, area. Yeah, I think we examined it and it's like, it looks like a memorial of sorts. Blah, 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 blah. Huh, did it disable encounters here? Because that'd be very nice. Never mind. <laughs> as soon as I say something, I should have shut my mouth. But it's fine, we should bop these enemies extra hard now, right? So, uh, water bubble. Oh yeah, I never did go stay at the inn. Oh shit, yeah, you... I, get, I got you and the monkeys mixed up. Because the monkeys are weak to water. But you guys are strong against it. So that is my bad. Big damage. Alright, little dude. Oh, I... Couldn't even begin to tell you the timing of that. So you're probably weak to fire blast, right? Yeah, 150. That was overkill. But hey, we won, and that's what matters. This must be the memorial. How many people did they lose? Too many. Young mages, we have some uninvited guests. Man, I am sick of this! What else can the world take from us? Bring it on! Alright, what are- what are they? Are they the mages? Oh no, it's just you guys. Um... Uh, what were you guys weak to? Oh, we haven't actually examined you. So I have no idea what you're weak to. Um, I'm pretty sure you were weak to water though, and I didn't mean to do that input, but whatever. My bad. Um... Let's go ahead and examine you guys, just so we have it. Scan. Yep. Let me know, let me know. Okay, Dark Wolfrid. These wolves seem to be infected by immeasurable black energy. Most of them limp or have some sort of injury. Or injure. Okay, that's a, that's a typo. They are weak to water, though. I realized last time I used the, um... I planted the scan Yukandra, and I was complaining about how long it took. Um, I realized I could have, uh, just activated it manually with, uh, Chris Bell's things, but... I really didn't think it would take that long to actually go off. It took, like, an enormous amount of time to actually just go off naturally. Um, yeah, that was weird. Uh... Just go ahead and throw one on yourself, just in case. But yeah, it seems like if you want to use the Yukandra, like, the planting... Uh, the Yukandra, it, it seems like you... Kind of have to use, um, the, uh, time crystals, because otherwise it's just... It's not gonna go off at a useful time. Alright, I think we can finish you? Uh, just a good... Oh, uh, you have 3 HP, because of course you do. Ugh. Okay, well now you die. Can't believe I actually beat some of these things earlier. They're still kind of difficult even now. Jeez. Christopher, are you alright? You seemed pretty upset when the wolves showed up. Is there something bothering you? Aiden is buried here too. Your brother? Yeah. 
It's silly, but I'm a little embarrassed to be here since I haven't avenged him yet. Vengeance might seem tempting, but I'm sure what your brother would really want is to end the violence caused by the Empress. He is right. If your brother was as great as you say he is, I'm sure he would feel that way. But for the sake of everyone who's buried here, at least we can provide these flowers. Thanks, guys. Let's get back to Noah. Wow, we actually have to go turn back in. Damn it! That's such a long walk away. Oh well. This better be something good. If he get, if he's like, here you go, have two healing potions. I mean, I'll 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 feel good about you know helping these people out, but at the same time, I'll be like, uh, this was a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. So I really hope they give me something good. Explosive. Uh, eat shit, you especially. A bluey. Dead. And if we could one-hit you, that would be amazing. Yes. Alright, luckily these guys are incredibly weak. Wilhelm learned you Chondra Antidote. Thank you. I could have used that in that other area when I was having to buy antidotes, like some kind of plebeian, instead of just cure it with a spell. Alright. Let's get out of here. I didn't actually think we were going to need to come back to this place. But, uh, neat that we are actually revisiting old areas like that. Cool. And yeah, the giant claw is just hanging out here. On the world map. That's an interesting little detail. Alright. Hello. Good morrow. So you really saw it through, eh? Yes. The flowers are there beside the memorial. I hope it gives them some peace. I'm certain they'll just be happy to know that they are remembered. You know what? Take this. I don't need it anymore. For your trouble. Silver ring? Ah, oh, damn it. I... I just bought everyone some of these. I don't need this. Damn it all. No. <laughs> It was a complete and utter waste of time. Damn it. <clears throat> okay, well that sucks. Well. Well, that, that happens. You know, at least I can sell it for money. At least I can sell it for money. Oh well, it was still cool to see the side quest and everything. If only they had given me the signet that I need for uh, Chris Bell. Because, uh, like the unique signet that seems go seems like it goes in the other slot. So, all right. Well, we have another side quest to follow up on, so maybe we'll get a better reward from that one. For this one, we just got to go talk to the like crazy spirit lady that we saw um, to the north or whatever. As I try in vain to run through this water, jeez, very slow. Matthias is trying in vain to keep up. Yeah, I don't- I can't think of any other areas where I had that issue where it's like, Matthias isn't near you, you can't time hop. I don't know why they wouldn't just make it where Matthias just teleports to you if you press the time hop button. Like, I- I wouldn't really care, you know? I would rather the convenience than, oh, Matthias is teleporting, wow, my immersion is ruined. Uh, I would rather just have the convenience, so... But yeah, let's go check out this place. Because there is a character that we have to talk to down here. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. Uh, boom. Let me in, let me in. Yes, hello. I am here to talk about... Uh, a side quest? Yeah, hi. Welcome, my dears. Did you go shopping by any chance? Not exactly, Miss Paulina, but we did find something unusual. Oh my, you found my lost eye! Those hideous sisters had stolen it. Why would they do that? Oh, maybe because I saw this. Proof of betrayal was added to your bag? Why don't you go outside and take a peek? Go outside and take a peek? Can I just do it right here? No, nope, apparently not. Okay. Uh, interesting. Can I use it out here? 
No. Is it a certain spot I have to walk to? Okay. Jeez. Yeah, it was... Whoa! Purple donut! Is that... Peter? You're late. You're not the one calling the shots. <sighs> Whatever you say. I checked the... Of Ooh. her grace's portion. I, I didn't mean to press A there, I'm so sorry. Of everything. Almost everything is going into his personal accounts. He's hiding most of the sales, even from his own people. Understood. We'll deliver your message to her grace. Wait until later today, and then use the advice we gave you. Understood. Stand in the middle of your room, and make sure it's wound all the way up. After you activate it, it takes an hour or so for the spell to take effect. Where am I headed after my extraction? <laughs> we'll let you know when the time comes. Now go. Before anyone knows you were here. Interesting. The idiot thinks he's being extracted. Oh well, he wasn't anything special. The effects from the device will expire after a few days. Convenient how it deletes itself, too. Yes. Remember to thank the Empress for giving us access to these. Okay, so he thought he was being extracted, but he actually wasn't. He was just being lied to, but he did their dirty work. He was a spy, and the Empress disposed of him after she got what she needed. How horrible. Yeah. Now we know a little more of the story. It's time to go confront Enzo. Oh, okay, so wait. Oh, yeah, it did mention that the side quests, um, like, doing some of the side quests would give you more options for dialogue in the quest. That is interesting. Now the problem I'm running into that kind of has me terrified is it... Do I need to do this Audrey quest, too? Um, I'm not sure. Hey. I'm sorry you had to see me. Give her another tip. I could spare a bit. I could spare it. Um, goal 1500. Yeah, let's just give you all of it. There you go. Wow. I don't know how to thank you enough. This is going to change my life. Oh, instead of being like a thief, you're still playing that? Okay. I think I'm really gonna make it. Yeah, because before your your future self was like a thief, it looked like. Um Let's see, so where are we gonna get a core? I don't I don't suppose we can get a core by going here and Yeah, no. I thought that maybe would be it. Yeah, we've got to... Because it just says, where would I find a core? I'm sure one cell will be enough. Or a power cell, sorry. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, treasure. I didn't see that last time. Yep. Uh, just the healing juice, so nothing super crazy. Alright, and yeah, that's the sewers. Maybe we can go over here? Can we just enter this place? The courthouse. Damn. Yeah, where would I get a power cell? I mean, the only thing I could really think of otherwise is the dead robot thing that we defeated in the other area. Hello, Chris Ben. Miss Amelia, what are you doing up here? We decided to get further away from the sewers, to see if Mario might get better. And they let you up here? Sofia petitioned Enzo on our behalf, and he allowed us to come to the walled city. Matthias, Mario seems to be missing in the future. Perhaps we should investigate a little more deeply. Wait, what? Oh boy. 
Okay, yeah, and then there's someone we can eavesdrop on right here. Mom, you need to get up and eat something. Maria wouldn't want you to treat yourself like this. I should have known he was sick. We could have given him more medicine. I would have made him throw up all that sewer water on the first day. Ah. Okay, so you consume too much sewer water and you need to th take more medicine. All right. Crispel, Mario appears to have swallowed some contaminated water. We need to get something to cleanse him right away. Give an antidote? Yeah. Well, this is neat. This didn't even show up as like a side quest. I just had to talk to these characters and we can potentially save a character's life. Jeez. We're out of antidotes. We need to find some as quickly as possible. Oh. Oh, whoopsie, sorry. Um can we- I guess we can just buy antidotes from over here, with you. You're in the wild- Wild cat armory! Alright, so... Sell those. Uh, we can sell these wood rings. Not selling my tent. We can sell the silver ring. Alright, and we're pretty good there. So, let's buy... And, uh... Antidote? There it is. So, buy one of those. And... Wait, did I get that and just never... I own zero. Oh, I can't afford it because it's 10k, jeez. Alright, what's up? I've heard stories about Crystallis. Okay, yeah. <sighs> we, uh, already know... Or, we've already heard that before. So, hello. Crispel, we need to... Here, Mario. Take this. It will make you feel better. My goddess. Look how much better he seems. I thank you. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna grow up and be a plumber so I can clean up those sewers. Then no other kids will get sick like me. It sounds like the voice actor is the same for the mom and, and Mario here. Plus, I'll fix them so they don't flood all over us. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. <laughs> so you're, you're telling me Mario wants to become a plumber. Hmm. I mean, oh, you are so hard headed. Maybe this will convince you to actually do something with your life. Sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. With an attitude like that, you might even become a great leader someday. Okay. Yeah, now Mario is alive. Hooray. Oh, whoa. We restored the future. Wait, what? We fixed it? Well, that was easy. All we did was help two people. And now everything's... Well, I mean, it's not perfect, but the water's not... Flooding. Interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm still curious about this other um, quest, the power cell one. Uh, I'm not totally sure. Like I said, the only place I can think of where I would be able to get a power cell is the dead robot that we defeated. That's in the other place now. But I kind of loathe the idea of walking all the way back over there, but... Uh... I don't know. Like I said, it's the only other place I can think of, and I feel like I want to complete all the side quests that I possibly can before we go into the story section. Since it seems like you can make game-changing decisions based off of how many side quests you've done. Um, the only other thing I can think of is... Now that we've cleared this out... Um, is there... Some stuff I could do here? I should... You look just yeah. 50 Come on, everyone. Let's go ahead and take a nap. We need it. We deserve it. I can't believe 10 sell for 5,000. That's actually nuts. A be yep. a beautiful. Thank you. Alright, so... Is there anywhere over here that would potentially have this uh, power cell? Oh, hi. The hardest burden to bear is okay, so you're just hanging out over here now. Young you doing like doing like little little punches. So adorable. Hmm. Okay, there's not really anything over here. 
Um, okay, what's the deal with you? You know, Crispo, I want to see my house in a different color. What do you think would look best? Um, blue. Blue? Like the sapphires of Tulira? I can see that working. Okay. Wow, look at us. We changed the future. Wait. It didn't even change. I don't... Okay, no, it slightly changed. Okay. Very slightly changed. Have you changed your mind? I think it looks great. Okay, so we can change the color of your roof for whatever reason. With the state of things just outside of town, I feel blessed to be where I am. Okay, not much going on there. What is this little piece of graffiti, little cat graffiti down here? It's gone in the future. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? That looks like something you could squeeze in. No, okay, never mind, never mind. So, yeah, I, the graffiti was gr gone in the future, and it was instead replaced by a hole. I was like, wait, can I go into that hole? As you? I thought I was onto something here. But no. Nope. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Alright, so... Do you believe that's most of the stuff over there? So let's just go ahead and get outside town now, and... I think I'm gonna run back to that giant robot really quickly. Just make sure... Um, that is not what we need to, uh, get a power cell. Because it says, like, just once again, check out the request log, the request log one more time. Um, the blueprints are a great starting point, but for Audrey to truly raise the in his power cell, where could you get one? Traditionally based on red crystal. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like if Audrey knew... That the robot had a red crystal, she would have told us to come here in the first place, but... I don't know, man. I'm, ju I'm just gonna walk over here, and we'll see. I, I did unlock, like, a shortcut or whatever to get over here faster, didn't I? Somehow? I don't exactly remember where that shortcut was. I think it connects over here some way, to the south. Yeah, and then we go a little bit further, and then down, and then I think if we go to the left after this, we'll get back to that area. Unfortunately, we gotta kill you stupid nerds first. Um, what were you weak to? You were weak to lightning and fire. So, eat fire blast. Boom. 122. Okay, well that's just rude. You gonna blow up on me too? No, you're just gonna attack. Alright. Um, well, I can kill you with a Yukandra. Man, I'm just so bad at the timing on your attacks. It's kind of crazy. Just how bad I am at it. Uh, Fire Blast. Skaboom. Awesome. Thank you very much. At least we get a lot of marbles here. Uh, for killing these enemies, so if I get into fights with them, it's not the absolute end of the world. Okay, never mind. I... maybe I don't remember where that sh shortcut was. Maybe it was closer to the beginning and I just didn't see it. It'd be handy to have the, a map of the area. But it's, it's, it's very linear, so it's not the biggest deal, but it... It would mostly just help with me finding this thing that I can't find. Yeah, you're weak to fire, the m monkey's weak to water, but that'll go ahead and finish you off relatively easily. Um, you guys are normal against fire. Okay, well, you guys are weak against it, so eat shit. Cool. Baby damage, get out of here. And boom, boom. It's actually nuts how much HP Christopher has. Do I have something on Christopher that just gives him way more HP than everyone else? He has a lot of HP. It's actual craziness. All right, so here. Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we can get back over here this away. 
I wish there was like a escape rope, <laughs> basically, in uh, in this game. It would make things a little bit easier if I could just teleport out of here once I get to where I need to go. Uh, but I really want to try and get your Yukondra timing down. Boom. Yeah, that's just a good again. Uh, no, just murdered that one. Not enough, unfortunately, because I timed it horribly. Actually, never mind. I would never have been able to do that much. Eat Fire Blast? At least the, uh, song in battles is really bopping. It always sucks when you're playing a JRPG that you're gonna get in, like, a ton of battles in. And the song just isn't a bop. Like, if it's- if you, your- your battle song has to be a bop, okay? It's a requirement. And boom. Okay, that's still a good. It feels like no matter what I do, I get a good, um, when, uh, attacking with, uh, the Yukondra. But apparently I'm just really, really bad at the timing. Thank you kindly. And a bunch of marbles. <sighs> All this just to get back to, to Giant Robot Chan and see if, uh, yeah, you have what I need. Okay, up here definitely doesn't, but maybe if we go lower. Um, we can, like, investigate the corpse or something, and it'll be like, yes, you found a power cell. Congratulations. I mean, it was made by the character that is asking us to go get it, so... <laughs> I don't know. They, 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 I, I think it would work. Why did I use that on you? That was total overkill. Um, skadoosh, skadoosh. Yeah, I just can't get Wilhelm's timings down at all. I'm really bad at it. I'm just gonna... Watery Brand? Yeah. I'm just gonna use this. 369, jeez. Wow, we didn't even do the animation, but we still deflected it. Crazy, Wilhelm. You did it with your mind. You Killua-looking idiot. Bum, 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 bum. All right, please. Please, I wasted all this time coming all the way over here, please. So much for the red crystal being safe. That robot was hunting the animals, making them more aggressive, and the red dust is making them stronger. If I didn't know better, I would think that the situation out here has gotten worse. It is certainly a foreboding sight. Relax, guys. If red crystal dust was toxic, everyone in St. Clarity would have been dead a long time ago. Here, let me see if I can pull out a power cell. Yes, thank you. I hope the collectors are not in danger being so close to the dust. Are you sure it's safe? Hey, it's technically the truth. Seems like creatures that absorb it are pretty dangerous, though. Now that they are no longer being hunted by the machine, they will stop attacking people. I hope everything gets back to normal around here soon. Why does the dust change them so much? There's a theory I read once. It said that all magic is actually caused by large deposits of magic crystals building up in the body. Humans tend to have a lot of magic because we're at the top of the food chain. So, all the red crystal in other animals and plants passes into us. Okay, that makes sense. But where did the crystal come from? And why is it charged with magic? I'm sorry to interrupt, but perhaps we should hurry back to Audrey. Apparently they were feeding, uh, Chris Bell a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, magic. You're right. Sorry. Fruits and veggies back at the orphanage. Of course, I guess your powers awakened when you saw the mural, not from any sort of red crystal-induced thing. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try to leave the other way to make this go a little bit faster and see maybe what happened last time and where I went wrong. Ah, shit, no, water. Can we flee? Uh... Thank you. <laughs> it's just so much faster. It's just so much faster. I haven't really been fleeing that much. I usually don't like to flee in JRPGs. I would rather just kill the enemies and get the XP and stuff, but... Um, uh, here I'm like, eh. Let's just, let's just do it the fast way. No, go away. 
Oh my gosh. Out of here. No opening the flea. It's okay, we got three opportunities. There we go. Cool. Alright, so if we head this way. And then. Oh, wait, no, that just leads to that treasure chest. But I think this way or something leads out. out of here. Yeah, okay, I think I just had to go like r south basically when I entered this place, and I could have taken this little shortcut to get to the robot. Uh, oh no, no, this is just. Okay, this is just an exit. Gotcha. Okay, I thought that looped back around to the beginning. Oh well, so I'm not crazy. Cool. That's a first. So we can go turn in this quest with Audrey. This should give us plenty of ammunition to uh, just wreck Enzo's ass. And uh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I do like that side quests actually have an effect on the story. It is neat. You basically, like, doing the side quest basically, in this particular case, is helping you gather evidence against Enzo and stuff. It's it's just a neat way to do things. Make side quests actually feel impactful and matter, even if um, you don't get particularly good items from them. And luckily the writing for them has been pretty fun so far, so. Like, it would have been boring if we just went to the robot and there hadn't been anything said. If it was just like, you got the power cell and I left. But... There was actual dialogue that helps with world building and explain to us how people learn magic by us being at the top of the food chain and we ingest crystal and stuff like... It's nice when side quests and just stuff like that in, uh, in video games enhance the world building altogether. Like, that's something you would totally miss if you just didn't do that side quest. Miss Audrey, we got you that power cell you were looking for. Great! This will speed up my work by weeks, if not months. Now all I need is a few years to finish this investigation. Years? That sounds like a long time. Well, what did you expect? Science takes time. Well, that's fine. We can just go in the future and see what you found out. Come back in a few years. You'll find me in my store with the final results. What are we going to do now? I might be able to help, Chris Bell. Let me look around Audrey's workshop in the future. Yup. Luckily, we have time bending powers. So, boom, boom. All right, so just go over here and examine the counter. I will be taking this. A uh, crystal motherboard was added to your bag. Okay, what exactly does that do? We should probably go over here and talk to you now that we've got it. Now, how did you? Never mind. I'm sure the answer is time, Mage. This is obviously my work. And as a thank you, take this. Since I'm not going to be needing any of this stuff anymore, maybe you can use it. Yeah, this whole thing was kind of pointless if... Well, it's not pointless because we had to get you the power cell that you, so, so that you could start working on it so we, th we could then go to the future and get the finished product. 2,000 marbles. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take it. 2,000 marbles is good. So... This uh, episode ran over a little long, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and take care of all of those side quests. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chris Tales, and I'll see you next time.